there is nothing more exciting than stepping onto the boat first thing in the morning. Chris, how are you, mate? Not bad. What's the plan today? Big gummy sharks off flinders. All right, and if you're wondering where Paul is, he drew the short straw today and he's working at Tackle World Mornington. What do you say you and I take the boat out? Let's hit it. Chris has brought us out just off Flinders to about 20 metres. And the aim of the game is to catch some wrasse. Now wrasse not only fight hard, they don't eat bad either, but they are great, great gummy bait. So, we're gonna get some fresh bait, head out, soak those lines, and wait for them to start singing. That's a rat. I'm gonna be out of your way. It was funny, I was struggling to get a bite there. So I actually bought the line about two metres off the bottom. And what that does, it leaves it out in the open, gets it out of the weed, and all the fish can see it. But they generally won't hit it, but what they'll do is they'll follow it along the bottom. And then when you drop it back down, it is just a frenzy. Oh, big blue throat. Oh, and that is what we came here for. It's a beautiful Beauty. blue throat wrasse. And this is going to become a gummy shark. Is that what you're telling me? That's it. Oh, there we yes. go. That's a blue throat. <laughs> and the benefit of using fresh bait He's catching it, is half the fun. Watch out, he's coming over. Ooh. Solid bite. Love seeing a bend in the rod like that. Yep. No, oh, get it in, get it in, get it in. Ooh. Ooh, blue throat. Oh, I'd say this one's a blue throat. What is going on here? What is that? Oh, you oh, would not snapper. read about it. <laughs> He's called a snapper. It's a snapper. Have a look at the colours on it. And believe it or not, in Victoria, this is actually size. But I reckon, let's get some good karma. I'm going to put this guy back and we're going to get some gummy. So we've got to our destination, we're in about 40 metres of water, um, put the anchor down and catch some gummies. As far as drag goes, how tight do you want it mate for these gummies? So you don't want it too tight, but you also want it tight enough so the fish hooks itself. It's a circle hook, you don't want to strike, once the fish comes along and eats it, he'll hook himself, don't pick it up and reef it. So we're in between tides now. Our back rods are sitting a bit funny, but once that tide starts, they're gonna sit perfectly and hopefully that's when the gummies come on. Oh, he's on. He's on. He is on. Alright. So we're watching the rod, we seen what it was doing, it was doing the gummy stuff, just bang, 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 and then off he went. So she's coming up pretty pretty easy at the moment. She might have another run in her. It's questionable now, he's, he's sort of dogging it out. Um, could be a seven gilla, could be a gummy. I, I, I don't think it's a gummy now. Now those seven gillas, supposedly they're pretty vicious. I never knew this, 
But they'll actually eat gummies. That's their favourite food. Oh, they love gummies. Well, last week they ate one. We come up, it was tail wrapped, and he just bit his head clean off at the boat. There you go, kids. Don't mess around with seven gillers. <laughs> so, what is the biggest gummy shark you've seen, Chris? Oh, the biggest one I've seen would be, or touch and go, roughly 30 kilos. And that's what got to be pushing nearly two meters. Yeah, at least taller than me from head to head to tail. Longer than me. And you'd assume at that size they've got to be females because the males actually stop growing at about 10 years of age. Meanwhile, the female gummy sharks will just keep on growing until they die. Oh, we've got colour and it looks very sharky. Big seven gillar. Big seven gillar. You've got to be careful because one, they've got really big teeth, and two, they're very powerful. Now, I'm assuming we don't want to bring this fish into the boat. No, nah, no, nah, we'll, uh, we'll release this, this shark. We'll aim to get the hook back, but worst case scenario, we'll just get the knife, cut the hook, it'll be gone in a few months, and we can at least save the rest of our rig. Now, bring that big thing up here. If you can see, just quickly, this shark actually has no dorsal fin. I'll try to bring it around. Look at that. No dorsal fin on this shark. And the reason it's called a seven giller, well, you probably guessed it, it's got seven gills. And that shark's gone. Good job, mate. What do you say we get a gummy now? Let's try. So when you're not chasing gummies, what do you like to fish for, mate? Snapper. Snapper? Marlin snapper. Offshore or in the bay for the snapper? No, in the bay, in Portfield Bay in Western Port. For snapper, yeah. And you do all right? Yeah, not, not too bad. The last few years, and oh, since we've been growing up, Dad having the charter boat, and me and my brother just growing up in, in snapper fishing, basically, and yeah, that's what we love doing. Now, he's being very modest. He says not too bad. If you saw go, all, the, all the photos of the snapper this guy catches, it will blow your mind. Hopefully, oh, oh, oh here we go. Oh, we're loading. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Look at him go. Oh. No, he's still there. No, he's not. Oh, yes, yes, he is. Go for it, mate. We're on again. That's what we want to see. That feels better. This feels gummy, you should say. Somehow I ended up on the rod again. Well, what can I say? I'm just a nice guy, you know? I'll, he's a guest on my boat, or Paul's boat. I'll let him have a go. So the gummy sharks really go hard. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> The reason gummies are so good is they're so accessible for all anglers. You can literally catch them in river mouths, you can catch them in two metres of water inside bays, and then you can get them in 400 metres of water right out on the shelf. They are literally found all over the place, from West Australia, around about Perth, all the way to Jervis Bay in New South Wales. And uh, as you can see, they are bloody good fun to catch. The net is ready. Come on, let's see a gummy. What is that? What is happening here? That is a humongous it's got something. A fin. It's definitely got a fin. That's a monster. What is that? Is that bronzy? No, it's a massive gummy. It's a, it's a horse. Big gummy shark. Here's a giant. Look at the size. Quick, bring it under. That's it. Just take your time and angle That's it. That's a monster gummy. That's it. Angle it. Here we go. It's going to come out oh, from under the boat. She's huge. She Look is huge. At the size of that. That's the biggest gummy I've ever seen. That's not going to fit in the net. That's going to go oh nuts. Oh, my God. Oh, that is giant. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, well, we have ourselves a gummy. She is massive. Give me five minutes. <laughs> well, Chris, we came here for gummies, but I wasn't expecting one this big. Big girl. That is a big girl, and it's a girl because you can tell just the mass of her. Female gummy sharks are actually, and I apologise if I pronounce this wrong, ovoviviparous, which basically means they lay eggs, the eggs hatch inside them, the eggs then grow inside them, and then they give birth to live young. And believe it or not, they can give birth from anywhere from 14 upwards to 58 pups in one time. Now that is just awesome. What a magnificent shark. She's a big girl. Awesome shark. It's really important with these females. Show them respect. You can see Chris is actually cradling the belly. I'm holding the tail. She's going hard. What we're going to do, get a quick happy snap and put her back so she can go and do her thing. So it's really important we take care of these big breeders. We can tell that she's pregnant. We want her to go back down there and live a healthy life. Look at her go. That is pretty special. Now, uh, what do you say the next one? We downsize, so we can maybe take it home for a few. We can try, we can definitely try. First world problems.
Joe, the other rig I'm using today is an Easy Rig Slider Rig. Running sinker rig, some people call it, some people call it the Western Port Rig. Um, it goes up and down your shock leader to your swivel, straight down to your 8 Gamma Catcher Circle. Well, we're getting a bite on that one. And Chris has just pulled up an absolute monster in the gap. Oh! Mate, we can put that in a fish tank. Isn't that pretty? Oh, here we go. Oh. 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 Here we go. Oh, oh, that looks good. Come on. Oh. Hook. Come on, swallow it down. Oh. Now, this is on the Paternoster. So, this yes. bait's sitting, Come a little, on. sitting a little bit off the bottom. Oh, yes. Yes, oh. yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> Listen to that sing. Oh. Now, Chris, very kindly, while I was just preparing something else before, placed a new bit of wrath on my Paternoster. And we were a bit skeptical about this bait because it was sitting off the bottom and we hadn't had a look in yet. But like Chris said, it just takes time. And now, that feels like a gummy. Oh, there's some beautiful head shakes there. And there's nothing better when you feel that thump, thump, and you hear that line come off the reel. Whew. That's what fishing is all about. Where's well, this other rod's gonna go? Oh, it's all happening. We're using very similar size combos today. I'm running a Saragossa 10,000, spooled with Finn's 50 pound braid, matched with a Shimano Pelagic Nano Series rod. And these rods are so versatile, from snapper in the bay to these gummies offshore, they do it all. And man, they've got some good, solid lifting power. In these offshore areas, the gummies actually congregate almost like a schooling fish. And when you get onto one, it's more than likely you're gonna get onto a couple more. That's what I like to tell people as well. Keep your baits out. If you can keep your baits out without bringing the lines in where they get entangled, you're more than likely to get double hookups on triple hookups on gummy sharks. And it does happen, doesn't it? It definitely does happen. Oh, we've got some colour. Hoggy, you wanna get that? Turn it, and are you ready with the net? I'll lead its head straight in. And free spool. Now, it might sound like I'm huffing and puffing, but that is because these gummy sharks love nothing more than to have a good wrestle on the deck of the boat. This one's finally calmed down, and as you can see, that Edo Gamakatsu circle has done the job perfectly. Pinned it right in the corner of the jaw, and that's using the rod holder hookup. This shark, I'd say, is anywhere from about eight to 10 kilos, and it is the perfect eating size fish. I'm gonna show you how to look after your catch so you get the most out of it and the best tasting flake possible. What I've actually done to preserve the gummy and make it as tasty as possible is I've removed the head and I've also gutted the animal. What I'm gonna do now is place it straight into an ice slurry. Now the ice slurry is fresh bags of ice with just enough salt water to keep it cool. What that does is the salt water will actually stop the ice from melting, keep it colder for longer, which means we get more fishing time. And when we get home, that fish will be just right. This rod here, this rod here. Yes, yes, you yeah, go, yeah, go go on. It. Yep. And that is how oh, you set a hook. Epic, epic gummy shark. I've got a snapper. Have a go. Bring it in. This one is coming home for dinner. Oh, that's what we want. Yeah, that's a gummy. Your one really didn't like the look of the boat, did it, mate? Oh, man. <laughs> Listen to it sing. We don't need the net, mate. It's a seven gill. The ultimate predator, and I would not want to mess with that. And that is the best outcome that could have happened then. See you later, mate. Look at this. Oh, looks seven gilly from here. Yeah, it's a giller. That's on there, oh, son. That's oh, a gummy oh. for sure. Yeah. That is what we want. And here we have a beautiful gummy. Mate. <laughs> Look at it go. <laughs> that is an absolute cracking gummy shark. 
Well, the dead giveaway that this is a gummy shark is its beautiful white dots all the way down its back. And this fish is just too cool. Most likely a female getting to this size. So it's going home. See you later, mate. Here we go. And away she goes. How cool is that?